Welcome back to the School of Motion Graphics. My name is CM De La Vega. And for today's tutorial, we'll be covering one of my favorite plugins, Lumetri Color, specifically the HSL Secondary Color Corrector where we can take anything in our shot and change the color. Now, if you like this video, please give us a like, a thumbs up, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and let's get started right away. Now, one of the questions that I got asked on YouTube was, hey CM, how can I change the color of a t-shirt? I want to change this to a different color. Now, there are different ways to do this, and I'm gonna show you perhaps one of my favorite methods to do this, and it's using Lumetri Color, and it comes with After Effects, and it comes with Premiere. I'm gonna show you the steps in Premiere, the same steps apply in After Effects, but the interface is a lot easier to work with in Premiere. Now, we're here in Premiere, make sure that you go to Window, and you go to the color workspace and then make sure that you have Lumetri Color checked. Now, if for some reason you don't see Lumetri Color, you can go to the effects panel, type in Lumetri Color and you'll find it color correction, Lumetri Color and just click and drag this plugin to your clip. Okay, we're in and let's begin. In Lumetri Color, let's go down to HSL secondary, which stands for hue saturation and luminance. There are three steps. Number one is we're going to key out the color that we want to key out. Number two is we'll refine that key. And the third step is we're going to adjust the colors. That's the correction. So let's go to step number one and that's key. Now you can see we have the eyedropper, the color eyedropper tools right here. We have a bunch of defaults and here we can adjust the hue, the saturation and the luminance. And here you can see your mat against a gray background against a black background and the white and black matte. So this is gonna be pretty handy when we're selecting the colors. Now, let me just show you, by default, let's see if we select the blue, let's see what happens. We select the blue and let's go down here to see the matte against a gray background and it looks pretty good, but once we go to the black, we see that it's selected way too much and we see it in white and black, yes, way too much. So let's go back, let's reset and let's choose our own color. So let's go to the eyedropper and let's select the blue and let me make this bigger and let's see it against a gray background. Okay, let's go back. Let's add a couple blue. Let's add maybe blues in the shadows, maybe right here. And you can see that it's adjusting the hue, the saturation and the luminance. Now let's go back here. And I think from this point on, we can adjust the hue, the saturation and the luminance ourselves. Now we have three options for each. Number one is we can move this whole little box right here, not a box, but this, this control, we can move it and it's adjusting the mat. It's either going to add to it or take away. The second thing is we can make it bigger. You can see we're making it bigger. Let's make it bigger here too. And the last one is we can kind of spread it out. So you see, it's going to spread it out here. So we can make this a little bit bigger maybe. And let's see it against black. Okay, it looks pretty good. And let's see it against, let's see it as a white and black matte. Pretty good. Okay, let's go to step number two. And actually let's go back to white and black. And let's go to step number two, which is refine. And there's only two controls for refine. You see this, these little lines right here, we can kind of fix it up with denoise. So let's bring denoise all the way up and it helps eliminate that. And the second step is we can blur it. We can blur it and this is way too much. So let's give it a slight blur. Let's make it 0.5. Perfect. Let's deselect the map so we can see the shot. And the last step is, let's go to 50. The last step is correction where we can change and adjust the colors. So let's go to correction and we have this big nice color wheel. And if we just Right now, let's just click on the red so you can see that it changed the color automatically. We can go here. This is <laughs> These are not nice colors. What we want to do is let's try to match this green of the hat. So let's go to the green and we have, we can adjust the color temperature, the tint. So let's go to the tint. I'm going to adjust the tint. And here we can make it brighter if we bring it up or we can make it darker if we bring it down. So let's bring it down. Let me bring it all the way down and let's desaturate this a little bit perfect and then the contrast i can give it a little bit more contrast and that, that is looking pretty good let's check it out you can see right here there's a little bit of blue so we can go back and fix that let's go back to the key 
and we can go adjust this. There you go. You see, you can go back and you can adjust it. Okay. And let's deselect. So you can see that you can always go back. You can tweak it, but it's looking pretty good. Amigos, I'm going to interrupt and add this little bonus section to this tutorial. As I was doing this key for the intro for this tutorial, I discovered a better method and I want to show you how to do that. So let's go back to the test. And this is a test shot. So go to the video effects. And if you don't see video effects, you need to go to window effects. So if we click on the clip, it should open up and go down to opacity and using either the rectangle, the circle, the ellipse or circle, the rectangle or the pen tool. Let's draw a mask around the area that you want to key out. So it's just a loose mask. It doesn't have to be just very loose. It doesn't have to be exactly the shape that you want to cut out. Okay, let me zoom in. And let's go to Lumetri. Let's go to the secondary and Recall that there, there are three steps, key, refine, and correction. We're going to go to the third step, correction, first. And for now, we're just going to set a color. Let's set it to green, for example, green. Let's put the tint all the way down, and let's bring this down. Now, we don't see anything now, but we will in a minute. We know that these numbers, these values, will give us a very dark green because of the example that we did. And later on, we can adjust. So let's go to step one, which is key. Let's go to the color eyedropper and let's select the first blue. And immediately you see some of the green showing up. Now let's go and go to the eyedropper with a plus and select more of the blue. And you can see more of the blue is added. Let's keep going. Let's repeat this step until we, we have this shirt completely covered in green. And you can see that it's updating the hue, the saturation, and the luminance automatically. And this looks pretty good. If we want, we can adjust manually from here. This is a great and easy way to do the secondary color correction. And once you're done, let's just go to the mask. Let's delete it. And there you have it. Let me go to 50 and let me show it to you. Amigos, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something new. Now, if you want to get started in the field of motion graphics, make some money, definitely check out the book that I wrote. It's available on Amazon, and I'm putting a link to the book in the description below. And always remember that life is truly a gift, so make it count.